We faced it because I felt it was the ignorance of who we were as black students. And we weren't there to take anything away. I always feel when I enter a room, I bring something to the room. Is that my culture, my knowledge, my ability. And when we were not allowed that opportunity on many occasions, it was very frustrating. My first year at Woodland, it felt like we were put in a place of war without weapons. We were challenged to go in because of integration, but no one was there to protect us from the snares and the sneers that was there when we got there. The, the, the blocks of, of ability and opportunity was still there. The ignorance is what I call it. It was, it was like intellectual ignorance. You don't know who I am. You really don't know anything about me. But I've had to live in your world is what, how I felt. But they weren't allowed to live in ours, the black world. The white kids were not allowed to live in the black world. But we had always been charged to live in their world. And, and you know, like I said, we spent a lifetime, those dark days, to forget them. And then someone says, oh, just forget about it. It's the past. And then they come back and want you to rehearse the whole past of your life. And it's like, why? Because when I tell you the truth, I tell, oh, don't feel like that. Or, it's, it wasn't like that. Well, how was it then? It's what so many felt. I'm, be, I'm being challenged every day just to sit in this classroom. I was in class with the first black cheerleader, the first black drum major. And if to search their lives now or to research them, what did they challenge? They challenged the fact that they could, they could cheer. She, she, Sheila challenged, I can cheer. Ronald Coleman was our first drum, black drum major. He could dance, he could be that. So give us all the same opportunity, is what I say then and now. Give the same opportunity to all. Me. Yeah, no, we'll see you. See me. I think that if we always remember that one day we'll have to be accountable for the deeds in our lives, then we can work better to do it right at the beginning. And then everybody can have a chance and opportunity to just have a life worth living and just do and all. And just remember, I don't know what you've been through, and I really can't handle everything that I've been through, except I be of use for someone else. So I just say, if, we're, if, if Woodlawn is to be a beacon for the city of change and improvement, then let it be.